Hey crafters, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to show you how to make this card. I am doing quite a lot of cards recently, so I'm using the Treat Yourself by Lawn Fawn, some nesting square dies, which is an 8cm, which I used, and a 6x4 inch card, which I do trim down a little bit. So I'm going to stamp the image three times, only one of the spoons, obviously. Um, this card isn't exactly a card for a swap, but it is a card for a family member. So this one is for my Aunt Liz. And I am f I did film this on the 18th of March, her birthday, I don't believe, is until m maybe May, I think it is. Um, I'm not entirely sure, I always get my Aunt Liz and my Aunt Dot the wrong way around, so. Anyways, I'm going to colour these in, guys. Um, so I'll insert a bit of music. Um, I don't spend that much time colouring these in, but let me know what your favourite flavour of ice cream is, because I'd love to know, and I'll see you in a second. and adding the stamps for the inside logos I took the coordinating dies and die cut them and then I'm bringing again the easy easy basic pastels this is a paper pad that I've had for a while but I did manage to find it on eBay so I have linked it guys I don't know how many paper packs this person um, has to sell but it doesn't necessarily say there's only one left so I'm presuming they have a couple um, but originally I did get this from the works, so if you want to go on the website and maybe see if they have it, but I just could not find it for the life of me. But I ended up just taking the ice cream background because I just thought, you know, ice cream goes great with ice cream. So basically I just took some double-sided tape and adhered that. And now I'm just adhering the images to my square using a dot roller, tape runner, and then also a few... 3D adhesive squares and then I just come in and add a couple of details so this is probably like the quickest card that I've ever made and I think the reason for that is because when I filmed this I also filmed the one for my uncle Rick which will already be up on my channel when this one's posted and basically when I made my uncle Rick's card I got inspiration for this card and I just thought you know considering I now know what I'm doing and whatnot it works a lot better so my favorite ice cream I don't necessarily know where to buy anymore because I used to get it from Cleveland's, which is a seaside town where I live, um, and it was bubble gum and then banana crunch. And I just cannot find that in any store, so unfortunately that really does, you know, dishearten me, but I think my now go-to one is probably cookies and cream. So I'm just taking the Treat Yourselves um, stamp, and then I'm also taking... May you be young forever. My mom picked the sentiment, so if my aunt kills me for it, I know who to blame. Um, but that sentiment came from the Mama Elephant's birthday messages. And I'm just taking some bigger foam adhesive squares to lift that up a bit. And then I come in with some little detailing. So I brought in... What did I bring? I brought in glossy accents, wink of Stella, and some sequins. So... Let me know down in the comments what your favourite card is that I've made so far. So I brought in the sequins. These are the neat and tangled sequins. And I realised like after I like put the sequins on that I didn't even show you. So it is the full of love sequins. Um, unfortunately neat and tangled will have closed when this video goes up. But if you follow me on my Instagram you will have been told that it was shutting down so if you wanted any other sequins then 
today's the day to get them, so, but I got a feeling that some stores might sell them, but if not, any sequins will work. So here I am just bringing in some glossy accents, so I did the logos, um, just to make them stand out a little bit more. The spoon as well, because obviously spoons are shiny, and I brought in my Wink of Stella pen, which I add to the actual ice cream itself. So when I was making my Uncle Rick's card with the ice cream, I wanted to put the glossy accents for the actual ice cream. And then I thought about it and I was like, you know, it's not very realistic because ice cream, even though it's got like ice crystals in it, it isn't shiny. So that's one of the reasons that I didn't, you know, add glossy accents to that. So, but that is that. And then, like I said, I brought my Wink of Stella in. And then I also bring in my personal stamp. Now, I think people are going to get fed up of hearing me say that. So, for a while, I might not say it. Um, but basically, my personal stamp basically come from eBay. I just messaged the person with the design I wanted and got it posted to me. So, but there you go. So, <laughs> I've just used the Love Letter ink to put the logo on the back. But apart from that, that's all I did. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you are liking these videos because then I know what content you like. Also, make sure you are subscribed because that really helps me out as well. And it also helps me get motivation to keep doing it because I'm not just doing it for a couple of people. Like, <laughs> so. And make sure you are following me over my Instagram. And I will see you in my next video, guys. Stay safe and happy crafting. And I hope to see you soon. Bye, guys.